European traders. Privateer FX coming back at you. After a couple of days in London with some pals, we are back in action here at the European Open. Let's take a look at what happened last night. We saw some very serious dollar selling at the Tokyo Open. The cable went up to 138.36. This is massively important, this level here, because this was the Brexit breakdown level coinciding with this low right here. So this might be a line in the sand here, cable traders. I get the feeling because we went in Tokyo and it was like sort of a random rush up there, cable might be turning here. So we're going to be looking at downside levels in cable. The first one that comes to mind is obviously 137.43. Um, but very, very interesting print. 138.36. That said, prices above 138.36 renew bullish flow. So we're also using that as a as a harbinger for further gains if we break above that. Euro dollar also at the Tokyo Open traded up higher 123.23 there was some derivative action at 123 the figure that had to get taken out now we're 122.40 uh, I'm not bearish euros even though it's come off pretty hard uh, I believe this move is still intact and you know we want to look to try and pick up euros on the low 122s and the high 121, 121.50 and 122, you want to buy euro. Right here at 122.41, we do nothing. Dollar yen also reversed. Got all the way down to 19 last night on the big stock sell off. High of 91. I don't think this is changed in trend in dollar yen either. I think this is just going to be some sloppy sideways motion. You want to try and sell dollar yen between 110.90 and 111.30 today. Aussie, same thing. We, at the Tokyo Open, we printed 80 the figure. Looks a bit silly. Um, now we we'll come back. I really actually like Aussie lower through this 79.40 level. We were looking at it yesterday. Traded 38, um, but today we'll be entering shorts in Aussie through 40. So that looks to be uh, that looks to be interesting. What else do we have? Euro Aussie. This is now an interesting little head and shoulders here on the four hourly. This is a break trade, sort of exercising the idea of Aussie lower. 154.46 in the Euro Aussie. We think this can continue to power higher, mainly on the back of strong Euro. We've had three days of consolidation after the first big day. Uh, we like Euro Aussie higher. Stocks. We're short stocks, but it's, you know, it's hard to get too excited. But this is a pretty bearish day. We printed 2808, and then there was all kinds of news. We bearish engulfed, traded all the way down to 2770. So at one point, from high to low, we were over a percent lower, which is sort of unusual in this market. But that's a bearish bar. There's no, there's no doubt about it. It would be more bearish if we'd closed at 2770, which we didn't. So there were dip buyers at the end of the day. Here's the end of the day. This is the 3 p.m. New York bar. This is the 4 p.m. New York bar. So we we went up 10 handles towards the end of the day. But it's pretty bearish. This 240 bar in particular is incredibly bearish. So I don't know. We've been burned on this trade a few times, but we are uh, we're in bear mode in US stocks. We have core short and we have a pretty decent average but we'll be selling on rallies into 27.90 today uh, and try and see if this is going to continue. 
that's about it for now. Aussie downside is one of our focuses. Sterling downside. We'll have to see if we can get a touchdown of 40 in sterling. And we're looking at stocks in a sort of a risk off continuation downside. Good luck out there, guys. We'll see you at the New York Open. Ciao.